this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up and solve a fluid structure interaction simulation. The fluid and structural simulations are solved separately, and the fluid force data is transferred from the solved fluid simulation into the structural simulation using the physics coupling interface. I'll start by using the fluid structure interaction template. I'll allow configuration so that I can suppress the structural and flow bodies in the respective simulations, and I'll create the simulation process. Two simulation processes are created, and the template has renamed the physics tasks to flow and structural. I'll import the geometry. And now I'm ready to set up the simulation. Let's skip ahead to focus on the fluid to structural physics coupling. First, I'll solve the fluid simulation. I've already suppressed the structural body and meshed the flow body. In the flow physics task, the material assignment is air. I've already set the boundary conditions. Here are the inlets, the outlet, and the wall on the inside of the pipe. I'll be able to send force from this wall to the structural simulation, so I'll see this wall later in the physics coupling interface. Now, I'll solve the fluid simulation. In the fluid results, I'll add a contour to review the pressure on the pipe. Next, I'll solve the structural simulation. The structural simulation will incorporate fluid structure interaction because I'll transfer the fluid force data into this simulation. I've already suppressed the flow body and meshed the structural body. In the structural physics task, the material assignment is structural steel. I've set the supports. These surfaces are fixed in place. I transfer fluid force data into this simulation with the physics coupling interface. The source region is the fluid simulation that we just solved. The tasks are connected so that the fluid data is available to the structural simulation. All of the walls on the fluid simulation are automatically selected, so the wall we looked at earlier is selected here. For the target location, I'll use a predefined selection set to select the surfaces on the inside of the pipe. The data transfer is ready to go. Now, I'll solve the structural simulation. During the solution, mapping occurs on the physics coupling interface to transfer the force data from the source location to the target location. Now, I'll go through some of the results. The displacement shows where the pipe is bending due to the fluid force. The deformation is exaggerated. The actual displacement of the pipe is quite small. And here is the equivalent stress. I have now successfully completed a fluid structure interaction simulation. I've solved the fluid simulation, and I've solved the structural simulation, using the physics coupling interface to transfer fluid force onto the inside walls of the pipe.